Guys, still here in New York City, and I got special guest, Max 40. Max, thank you very much for being a part Great, of this. Thanks for having me. All right, so we're going to do a first impression on the house of By Killian, and that is Bamboo Harmon. So this was actually launched in 2012, and the, the nose is Callus Becker. Uh, so before I break down the nose, or you mentioned them, you get anything out of this? I sprayed this a few moments on Max's hand. It's nice, very appropriate for this time of year, like spring, summer. I get some freshness. A uh, little sweetness, maybe citrus. Okay. Some flowers. This is a very light fragrance compared to a lot of the Bikelian fragrances right. out there. Definitely. Is there anything else or... Is there, is there jasmine in this? I sent some flowers, like white florals or jasmine. You're somewhat close. There is no jasmine in this one. There's lime or lemon, bergamot. Okay, bergamot, yes. Bergamot. The white florals that you may be smelling is neroli. Okay. It smells very nice. All right, so you want me to mention those? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the top notes, neroli, bergamot, and bitter orange, with the mid being tea, mimosa, which you may have been smelling, spices, and bamboo, and the base is oak moss, holly, and fig leaf. Nice. Very streets, nice. streets of New York. All right, so uh, do you like this fragrance? I do. You said you think it's very nice. Uh, what I get out of this is pretty much citrus, neroli, and the bamboo. It is a very light fragrance. It is light, and it's a little bit too floral for my taste, but I would love to smell this in my fiance. I like it. Well, this is considered unisex. Would right. You, would you agree with it? I agree, it's unisex, but for my taste, I would like it more on my Fiance. female kind of part, rather than myself wearing this. The boss but, lady. Right. But it does have the unisex, you know, appeal, absolutely, I can sense that. All right, so uh, what would you say the ages would be more appropriate, or actually would would like this a little bit more? College and up. Yeah, okay. Mid-twenties. Well, this is an expensive fragrance, right? Uh, I would say 30 and up, just because the price, the price tag, right, yeah. but the scent itself, I'd say 25 and up. Cool. High school, definitely not, definitely not. And, unless you're here in Upper East Side, right. Manhattan, where a lot of the kids are a couple hundred dollars in the fragrance. spoiled and their parents, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> uh, what would you say the occasions would be? Casual. Okay. Semi-formal, casual. All right. I think that anything casual, uh, I think it would be a great day-to-day -day fragrance, right. like a signature, signature scent. scent. Yep. It, it, it's not, I don't want to say versatile, like I wouldn't wear this per se. Like the way you're dressed, very stylish. This very, probably doesn't go well, right? No, that, this is totally too, max too 40. Casual. No way, man. Dude, you are decked the hell out. This man is Thank you. looking good and I don't mean it in that way. <laughs> Very trendy, very... Uh... But this is nice. This is definitely nice. It's got that, you know, nice, clean, fresh appeal. Yes. Definitely unisex. Okay. Uh, seasons. Spring and summer. Yeah. Definitely. But it's a lot uh, of Longevity wasn't great. I only got about five, six hours. Okay. Projection... Typical projection was pretty much an hour, if that, you know. It becomes a skin scent too quickly, right? Yes. Uh, prices, Lucky Scent, 50 ml, 260. Um, Wow. Amazon 50 ml 230. So price of bugger. I don't. I can't see myself justifying. Spending. I wouldn't buy it. Not for. I would rather spend on something else that I would really, really enjoy. This to me, it's. Yeah. I would rate it. If you have that in your uh, thing, how would I rate this? No, but what would you rate it? From like uh, one to ten, let's say. I would. Six and a half, seven. Okay, it's not a bad price. It's not, not bad. Six and a half is low, but it's not. That's not bad. Um, so people's thoughts on this were light, fresh, clean, uh, lightly spicy, feminine. Uh, yes. Some people thought it was fruity. A little and, fruity, we get that. And a few people thought it was sexy. Well, the, the ladies thought it was sexy. So like my friend Simone from work, okay? beautiful, curvaceous African black woman. Wow. So she sprayed this on her because she is one of the noses that I do ask. And she's curvaceous and she's like... Tch -tch 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 enjoyed it yeah she totally made me look yeah it wasn't it wasn't yeah good thing the girlfriend was there oh boy <laughs> not a good mix hi Simone 
but this is very nice. It is it's clean, fresh. It is citrus, nice. No, it a is a little sweet. It is nice. nice. I do like it. If I were to grade it out of ten, I would probably give it a seven, okay. seven and a half. Fair enough. It's not something. Even if this was cheaper in price, I personally would not. I wouldn't want it in my collection. Right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want it either. And I do like. And right now, where I'm at in my journey, I do prefer the unisex fragrances. Sure. You, you can know. share with your significant other. Well, I don't care about her. I'm important, not her. Oh, right. Hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, like by Killian, I have two by Killians in my collection, and I only have black to back, black to back, and um, straight straight from heaven. Okay. And, I and think, there is a dark sense. And I think Straight to Heaven would be my girlfriend's one of her favorites. Okay. Uh, that or Sweet Redemption. I can't. I, I'm getting those two mixed up. Those are opulent, or darker, a lot yeah. more going for. So for that kind of money, I, would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay for them. No, yeah, and I, the girlfriend, she did buy four travel atomizers of this fragrance. So, okay. Like, well, you can get it in the Holt Renfrew up in Canada. Uh, prices, shit, I don't know. I can't remember off the hand. So, anything else to say? That's it. Thanks for All watching, right. guys. Well, thank you for being a part of it. Thanks for having me. All right. So that is uh, our take on Bamboo Harmony by by Killian. Guys, we will see you later. But also, please subscribe to Max if you haven't done so. Channel link will be in the description box below. We will see you later.